Hey everyone, Mike here, Mike's House of Mods. Hope you're having a good day. And today's video, I'm actually gonna be hopefully fixing an issue that I've been having probably ever since I bought the car, uh, bought my Sky. And today I'm finally gonna tackle it. And uh, it might be a problem that you guys have also, uh, whether it's in your Sky or it could be basically any car that you have. And that is the dreaded seat belt. All right, so how many of you guys have this going on where the seat belt just kind of sits there and it lays and it's, it retracts, but real slowly, if at all. And it's really annoying. If I pull all the way out, it kind of goes back, but then it kind of stops and then boom, it just kind of sits there. And I got all this slack. And of course, it goes there and you close the door without paying attention. You slam this inside the door and it's, uh, it's, it's a real pain in the neck. So I have read and I've seen videos on how you can kind of fix this. I was originally thinking, oh my God, I got to change the whole retracting mechanism in there. But I was looking online and uh, I saw some simple ways to possibly resolve this. In this video, I'm gonna see if it's true. Okay, so apparently the problem is mainly because of dirt and grime and oils and everything else from your hands uh, getting in here and kind of messing with the, um, the fabric. And it's uh, basically not clean enough to go back and uh, retract into that little retraction mechanism, whatever it's called. So, uh, like I said, I've been seeing some videos and they were talking about, I basically do it, have to do is clean it. And that's what I'm gonna do today. Okay, there's a couple of different ways you can clean your seatbelt. Uh, one of them is to take a bucket of water, put some detergent in there, put some hot water in there, mix it all around, make it nice and soapy. Then you wanna pull the um, seatbelt out as far as it can go, put it inside the hot bucket of water and let it sit there for an hour or so, let it soak it all in, and then kind of clean it off after that. I'm gonna try the easier way and basically use a, uh, I'll actually have simple green here, but I guess you can use any kind of uh, regular cleaner. And I'm just gonna spray the uh, seat belt down, wipe it down, kind of clean it that way and see if that works first. Because again, that's the easier way and I like taking things the easy way first. So what I need to do is go and pull this all the way out as far as it'll, until it stops. And actually I have a, like a little gripping tool here or you can, put a pair of vice grips or something, but you basically want it to kind of stop and hold it there. So you have all of the slack now uh, that's in front of you. So then you just go and just kind of spray the seat belt all the way down. Or you can go and spray a clean towel first and do it that way. Either way, I don't think it really matters. And then we're just gonna go ahead and just kind of clean it, clean it off. You can always already see there's some dirt and stuff coming off already. Eleven minutes later. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and see. I should let it dry a little bit longer, but I'm just gonna see how it works uh, the way it is. And you can see it's it's already pulling back. Nicely. So now, let's see if I hit that way, boom, pulls all the way back. So basically you just have to clean the, uh, clean the seat belt off and that should help it retract a lot better than it used to. Okay, so there you go, that seemed to work. Like I said, there's two ways you could do it. You could either take the whole thing, and, uh, stretch it all out, put it in a uh, hot soapy bucket of water, wait around for a little while, or you can just take an all purpose cleaner and clean it the best you can and see if that works. But I would try the easy way first, and then if that doesn't work, then try the bucket of water. And if that doesn't work, it might actually be something wrong with the retractable piece in the back you have to change out. So this side worked. I'm gonna go ahead and do the um, passenger side, get that one done so they both uh, retract nicely. And that's pretty much the end of this video. If you liked it, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, hit that notification bell, and it'll tell you next time I come out with a video. Until then, I'll talk to you later.